friends. Today I'm sharing another free card class with all of you. This is my November 2021 customer appreciation card class. And if you have placed an order with me this month of a minimum $40 before tax and shipping, you will receive uh, the supplies to create these four cards. And if you place an order of $60 or more, you'll also receive a package of our holiday gems. Um, as a thank you gift from me, but the PDF tutorial and this video is available to everyone. The tutorial will be sent out and posted on my blog on November 25th. So I hope you enjoyed these four cards. Let's start stamping. So for this card, I'm using Count On Me and also the stamp set through it together. And let me tell you, this is quite a fabulous stamp set. There's 21 stamps in this. So many wonderful sentiments in here. I absolutely love this stamp set and having such a big variety of great um, sayings. So for this card, I chose with much love and the cute little kangaroo. So here I have all my little bits and pieces. So I'm using Granny Apple Green and I'm just gonna glue this layer right on top. This is four by five and a quarter. Okay. And then I'm gonna pull in a couple of strips that I have cut from our um, designer series paper package that you can earn free with the host reward. I am loving this pack of paper and on the back of this pattern there's these flowers. So I'm going to start with my Daffodil Delight. So I have my dark and my light and I'm going to start with my light and I'm just going to quickly color and I'm not being super duper precise. I'm not trying to go out of the lines but I'm definitely um, not being you know exact here it's going to be pretty it's going to be a nice quick card and sometimes we need quick cards don't we okay and then i'm going to take my dark daffodil delight and where i have these the lines the centers i'm just look at i'm just going right on top just adding those different shades Easy peasy, quick, quick, quick. Okay, so that's my Daffodil Delight. I'm gonna use my light and dark pool party. And then for the last flowers, I've chosen my Highland Heather. And I actually don't need both my light and dark granny apple green. I'm just going to use the dark and I'm going to use the fine tip and I'm going to go over all the little dots and that really does make a big difference and it'll pull in the green cardstock that I'm using, the granny apple green. So that is it for the coloring easy now it's time to glue them on so I'm gonna glue them on so that they're pretty much uh, equal uh, spaces apart there's my background and I'm gonna go ahead and glue this on And this is a three by three inch granny apple square. Put that on right like that. Let's move on to our kangaroo. I'm gonna stamp the kangaroo with my black memento ink pad. And I forgot, I also wanna stamp the grass, the little grass image in here. Okay. 
Look at the difference that makes. So cute. All right, so now I'm gonna pull in my light granny apple green and just put some of that on here. Make it look like kangaroos on a bit of a hill. And then my dark granny apple green, again using the fine tip, and just go over that grass. So you see, it's looking pretty cute, huh? I'm now using my light and dark crumb cake. I'm going to start with my light. And I'm going to leave his belly. I'll come back to his belly in a bit. Lake. Oops. So I went out of lines there a little bit. So I'm going to use the color lifter. See how I've just gone off a little bit? And I'm just going to go back and forth with my color lifter to remove that. And let that dry. Now I'm going in with my dark. I got cat fur on there. There we go. I'm going to use the fine tip here. Doesn't look like much, but you just wait. This is so easy. I'm just adding more crumb cake and then I'm going to take the color lifter on here as well and speaking of the color lifter you can see it completely removed that ink that went outside of the lines okay so now I'm going to take the color lifter and I'm also going to just use it to blend these in where those two colors meet and you just work it in I want some more dark on his little arm arm there so I'm going to come back to that. Let's make this dark. So I've got some quick shading there for his belly and inside his ears. I am going to be using ivory. little bit for his cheeks as well for her cheeks and now I want to color the flower so that it matches at least one of the flowers on on the uh, designer series paper that I colored so I'm going to use the um, I'm going to use the Highland Heather I'm going to use the uh, light to do the petals I'm going to use a tiny bit of the dark also on the petal, just a little dot. Now I'm going to bring in my dark daffodil delight for the center. My dark granny apple for the stem and the leaf. And I didn't do this next bit on my original card, but I'm going to pull in some pool party, which is what I also used on the flower and my blending brush, just to pull some of that in as well. And then that will tie in all three colors that I used on that designer series paper. Just need a little bit.
And I forgot to color his nose, so I'm just gonna grab my black marker and just do his little nose. And that's it. That's that's how easy it is. So I'm gonna take a little bit of tear and tape and just add a little bit on the bottom edge because I'm gonna add some white twine. I'm gonna take some Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm also gonna put them right on top of that twine just to hold it down even a little bit more extra there. Okay, bring this back in. And you know what? I'm gonna make this card landscape. And look at, this is crooked, guys. This is crooked. I'm telling you, I always put things on crooked. Oh my gosh. If I rip it, it's gonna make it look worse. Crooked shows that it's not perfect, and we're not perfect, and we're not meant to be perfect, and it's homemade, and it's from the heart. So <laughs> that's that's where I'm going to leave that at. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I'm just tying a bow. Just a little guy. I'm going to put that on with the glue dot. I'm actually going to stick this underneath so it holds this piece down on the front and then also my bow there's enough for that to stick on as well I'm gonna stick it down right there kind of hiding my grass though aren't I oh well it happens and I need some bling and then we'll put our sentiment on and then this card will be done so I'm bringing in our um, holiday gems. And um, I am going to pull in, I'm gonna use this blue and put it right on top of my bow. Like that. And now for my sentiment. So I'm just bringing in a scrap strip of basic white. And I'm going to use my Highland Heather. Just stamp that down and then I'm going to trim it out and put it on with dimensionals. And actually that could be a little bit darker so I'm going to stamp again. Oh yeah. Much better. And I'm going to just cut that out. I'm going to take my mini dimensionals and I'm going to cut one in half. That behind it. Oops. Okay. And then this is going to go on there, but I think I need to trim that a little bit more. Isn't that cute? And I'll show you the first one. Super, super sweet. Big difference depending on the colors that you use too, right? But isn't that a sweet card? Really fast. I love it. So for my next card, there's not any stamping except for the sentiment. So I pulled out my poinsettia petals and um, I'm using the Happy Holidays. Oh my gosh, I love this stamp set. And this is the card. 
So it's a layout that I've used over and over and over again, especially when I want to um, showcase our beautiful designer series paper, which is like pretty much all of our designer series paper. So I'm pulling out the pieces and those of you who received the card kits, this is what you're gonna have, everything's in there. Okay, so now I've got my four by four designer series paper and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to score it at the one inch mark. and fold it down so now I have that double layer showing okay I'm gonna glue that shut and then using my tear and tape again I'm gonna add a little strip here and a little strip here Okay, so I'm just taking my ribbon and I'm just going to wrap this around. Now I have two pieces of designer series paper and I have cut these to measure two by three. And then I have a piece of our pink and our white and they measure two and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those on. Now I'm going to put this one on like so. And actually this piece actually could be a bit smaller, but it'll work. And then I'm going to glue this one on right on top. Tilting it a bit. set that aside and then with the double oval punch I've just cut out basic white and this is where I'm going to stamp my sentiment and I'm going to use Misty Moonlight and just stamp that down glue this right on top of the scallop Oh, smudge mark. It's all right. That's all right. Uh, dimensionals. Then I'm going to put a bow on with my glue dot right here. And I am going to put um, a couple rhinestones on here. And for this one, I'm going to use our regular rhinestones because I've got all that silver in there. So I want to pull that up. And look, that just hit my smudge mark, kind of, sort of. And I'm just going to put a piece of paper inside. There's that card done. I'll show you the original. super fast easy and the only stamping is the sentiment for card number three I'm using seasons of fun this is a host reward stamp set so you need to place a qualifying order in order to choose this set and it's stinking cute and I'm pulling in this stamp set again the threw it together that I used on the first card so the first thing I'm gonna do is stamp my little Christmas person and I use the diorama dies for this one. So you could cut another piece of cardstock to layer this on. I didn't do that. I'm just using the basic white. Then I have a scrap piece of basic white. I have my designer series paper and my um, pair of pizzazz card base. So what's first? What's first is gluing this onto my card base. So I'm going to go ahead and do that paper on the inside while I'm thinking about it. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna set that aside, bring in my die cut, and I am going to use stays on for this one. And I'm gonna stamp it down. And it's a great shape for this particular image because of how her little body just fits in those curves. I think it's perfect. So I forgot to mention this paper that I use for the background is from our Painted Christmas Designer Series paper. So I went through my little scrap basket and I pulled this out. And then I also had this in my scrap basket. And this is from our Peaceful Place designer series paper pack and I'm going to do a little bit of paper piecing which is different than what I did on my original card on my original card I colored this in using my watercolor um, pencils so this time I'm going to do something different so I'm going to stamp this little girl right here and I'm going to ink up her hat I'm just gonna ink up her whole little body there because I'm not sure if I'm gonna use everything okay stamp down I'm first going to cut out her coat I'm going to cut her hat and her scarf. And I'm going to go ahead and do her little socks also. Okay, so there's there's my little paper doll going on. Okay, before I put my little pieces on, I want to do a little coloring. And I'm bringing in my petal pink. I'm just going to take my block and put some of that on there. So I'm just going to pick up that ink with my water painter and color in her little face. And that's probably good. Actually, I'm going to pick up a little bit more and do her cheeks. I am going to pull in some of that pear pizzazz and this is our old style ink pad so it's easier to pick up the ink from the lid which is why I don't need the clear block and I'm just going to add some to the branches and this is why I use the stays on because I knew I was going to be using water. What else? Cinnamon cider and a little bit of ink here so I'm just going to pick that up. Add that on. I'm going, I'm starting on the left side because that's where the darker of the ink's gonna go, and then I'm just pulling it off to the side, and that's how I'm getting that shading. And then you can just go and pick up more ink and just go right on top of where those little stitch marks are. Clean that off. I'm going to use my bumblebee for the star. For the sled, I'm actually going to add just a little pop of color here. So I'm going to pull in my poppy parade, pick up some ink, and just color that in. Actually add a little bit more. take a little bit of my gray granite and this is going to be for my slow my snow um, but I don't want it to be too dark so I'm just going to add just a little bit and I'm going to go over this with my clear wink of Stella as well so just a light light wash and actually while I have the gray granite out I'm going to pick up some ink and do her little boots also And I'm doing it just like I did on this little bag. I'm starting on the left and then 
whatever inks left I can pull that over on the side I'm gonna do her hair and crumb cake I'm just picking up that ink right on the edge there because I only need a little bit pretty darn cute okay so now it's time for the paper piecing and I didn't do her gloves did I so I'm gonna have to do her gloves so I'm using evening evergreen for her little mittens because that's gonna pull in this evening evergreen here so I'm always pulling in the colors of the designer series paper and actually while I have this out I'm going to um, add some of that color to this designer series paper that I cut out. Should have done that before I cut it, but I didn't think about it. And this way it will match her little mittens also. I'm not going to worry about her, her socks though. Okay, let's get her coat on. Oh no, we should have done her, we should have done her little socks first. Let's do her socks. Come on coat, off you get. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of glue. Just a teeny, tiny, tiny bit. For her stockings. cute that's coming along and her hat and I'm actually gonna take um, a mini dimensional and pop her scarf up because I think that'll be really cute and add some dimension but I only need a little bit, so I'm going to cut another mini dimensional in half. Take that backing off. Whoops, lift this up. Put that down. And I'm going to take my take your pick tool and just curl up her scarf just a bit. And that gives it fun dimension. So I really want her buttons to be white. So I'm just going to use a white gel pen that I just uh, got at a stationery store. And I'm just going to dab on some white. Also adding a little bit of white where my ink went on her eyes. Okay, taking my clear wink of Stella now. I'm going to go over the snow. Whoops, and that's got blue ink in it. Oh my goodness, that's okay. Snow has a blue hue to it. That's definitely a happy little mistake. That's a happy mistake. <laughs> Phew, good thing it wasn't red or purple. I'm gonna add a little bit to her little pom-pom. Oh, and the star for sure. We gotta add some to the star. And I'm gonna stamp the warmest wishes in Poppy Parade just to kind of pull out that red that I used on her little sled. I'm gonna stamp on my scrap piece first. Stamp it up here. My S smudged. My S smudged, you guys. So here's how I'm going to fix that. I'm going to stamp this right here and I'm going to cut it out like I did on the first card. Now before I cut that out, now this is that scrap paper, right? That's for my little doggy. Come on, you know if there's a dog in a stamp set, I will be using it. down my little dog I'm gonna pull in pill papaya for him um, my one dog Rosie she's black and white and 
Cooper is golden. My golden child. So this is going to be a Cooper dog. And I definitely need more ink. And I'm just adding on. I'm leaving a little bit down by the belly. Have a little bit of white there and up here too. So you can, you can go back in and add more as you need it. Just be careful not to have too much water um, when you're doing this. I think I want to add a little bit of crumb cake to this little doggy as well. So I'm just going to pick some up. Use some of that petal pink for the doggy's tongue. So I'm going to cut my dog out. doggy guys it's seriously worth it <laughs> to cut them because it's so cute all right let's cut this out too okay let's clean up this mess and put this together Oh my gosh, I think I threw out his scarf. Okay, I totally threw out my little doggy scarf. Oh my goodness. So learn from my mistakes. <laughs> when you're cutting out your little pieces, put them somewhere safe. Okay, I'm just going to... Um, I want some of that brown. We're probably going to... Who knows what we're going to get. I'm just going to do this. Okay, put it somewhere safe. So let's grab a couple mini dimensionals. I might only need one to be honest. Okay, so I'm putting a mini dimensional right there and a little bit of glue on his head. And I'm just gonna stick my little doggy right there like so. And his scarf. Does it get any cuter? Does it get any cuter? I'm here to tell you, no. <laughs> All right, so let's put on our warmest wishes. I'm just going to glue that on. And a little bit of blingy bling gonna put a rhinestone right here there you go so sweet so that is the paper piecing technique here's the original card that I did and um, I glued this on directly instead of using the Stampin' Dimensionals. My little doggy is like my rosy doggy, but she is more black than, than the white. And I stamped I Miss You down here. That was also from the same sentiment stamp set. And I used my watercolor pencils. And I think those are precious. Precious, I tell you. I wish I had popped this up on Stampin' Dimensionals. Now that I've made this card, I definitely like that better with the dimensionals. Really, really, really sweet. Moving on to the last card, guys. 
and this one is using the Arctic Bears stamp set. Now this comes as a bundle. I didn't use the dies, just the stamps. Okay, so I am using Rich Razzleberry for my card base. This is from that same Hostess Designer Series paper that I used on my Kangaroo card. I'm using the black and white pattern, a piece of black cardstock, and scrap Rich Razzleberry. So this measures three and three quarters by five, and I'm pretty sure this measures um, four and three quarters. Let's see. No, four and a half by three and a quarter. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue this right onto my card base. You guys having fun yet? I'm having so much fun making these cards for you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stick this on the inside. Alright. Here's the Arctic Bear stamp set. And I am going to stamp my sentiment first. And because I'm going to emboss it. Okay, so I'm going to do some, some embossing on this card. So I'm going to take my um, anti-static bag. If you don't have this, you can use a dryer sheet. So I've heard, I've never used a dryer sheet, but apparently they work. Or you can buy these at craft stores or dollar stores, apparently sell them as well. So pretty important. And I'm going to stamp, oh look. I'm going to stamp thinking of you, and I'm going to stamp this in for some mark. So you're not gonna see it very well on the camera. Okay, and I'm gonna do some heat embossing on the card as well. So I'm gonna start with my bear. I'm gonna stamp them here. And now I'm taking um, this image right here, which goes like that. I'm going to stamp that around my bear. And again, I know you're going to have a hard time seeing uh, what I'm doing. Can you kind of see? And now I'm stamping this one. I almost didn't get this bundle, to be honest. Uh, let me tell you, I'm so glad I did because I am loving it. Okay. And then this little image here, I'm going to put in between the two pieces I just stamped. And I'm just going to stamp it kind of like that just to kind of tie those pieces together. And I'm also going to stamp here, here, here. I think that's good. Bring in my white embossing powder. And I have all kinds of goodies in my white embossing powder. I have fur. I have all kinds of stuff. Oh my gosh. So any place where you've got excess powder that you don't want it, just take a dry, clean paintbrush and just brush off that powder. Just give it a good tap -arama. Now, I, before I emboss, I kind of want to clean up his, around his eye a little bit. So I'm just using my take your pick tool. Just going around his eye. Okay, so I have this line here from the stamp. I must have wiggled it a little bit, and I really don't want that there. So I'm going to re-ink that one again, and I'm going to do it, how am I going to do it? I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it like this, 
and see if that kind of works in with that squiggly line. Sure. We'll just pretend that's just the way the ice is rocking and rolling over there. All right, so to color, I'm bringing in my watercolor pencils and I'm pulling in my white and Bermuda Bay. So I'm going to start with my white and I'm literally just coloring it on, just using a light hand. Now I'm going to color my bear next. I'll show you what that looks like. And I'm pressing harder this time around because I want my bear to be a darker white than the snow and the ice is. So in case you're wondering what would it look like if you brought in our uh, water painters or the blending pen which we normally use with our watercolor pencils and I didn't think it looked that great. So that was my experience with it. <laughs> I really liked the look of just using the watercolor pencil. So now I'm bringing in my dark basic black blender pen. I want to add his nose and his eye. And I'm going to do something else to them in, in a couple seconds. But first I'm going to pull in my Bermuda Bay and um, add some, some water. I'm also going to pull some up on the edge, right on top of that embossing. I'm going to put a little bit in here as well. Maybe I'll do a little bit over here too. Maybe we'll add a little bit kind of all over the edges a bit, just to make it look like ice. Okay. I'm going to take my white and add some of that on top of this Bermuda Bay, just a little. And now I'm going to take my clear wink of Stella and go over this water. I'm going to bring in my card base, my dimensionals. I'm going to trim this out now. I'm going to go on a slant here. Now before I put this on, I want to add some ribbon. So I'm taking our fine tip glue and I'm going to add a teeny little tiny bit to the eye and the nose to give it some dimension. And it's going to make it shiny. So that will dry clear and then I'll have shiny little nose, shiny little eye. I'll show you the original so you can see what it looks like when it dries. So that was the first one that I made and then today's and you can see I stamped the uh, different sentiment on this one from the same stamp set. I had so much fun creating these cards for my free card class and I had the best time stamping these today to share this class with you in this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it gives you lots of inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Take care and happy stamping.